الحمد للہ والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت في اللہ to address one of the current illnesses that we face which is التسريع في تبديع والتكفير and I just wanted to mention the importance of being patient and not quickly throwing your du'at and your shuyukh under the bus, so to speak. Meaning, we've seen so many people who have made mistakes or people believe they have a mistake. So there's a difference. Remember, there's two things I just said. Some people have made mistakes. Some people, certain individuals and mashayikh and others say, believe they've made a mistake. But if you look at that mas'ala almiya, perhaps you find that it isn't a mistake, that they may be mistaken or may under, misunderstand the mas'ala. So these are two different things that you have to look at. And I also want to establish right off the get-go I'm talking about, like Imam Abdul Mahsin al-Abad was talking about, like Sheikh Ibrahim al-Rahili was talking about, like Muhammad, Sheikh Muhammad al-Imam in Yemen was talking about, like uh, Sheikh Sultan al-Eid, and many Mashaykh, and Sheikh Ahmed Najjar, and others were talking about Mashaykh and issues that happen between Ahl sunnah Also, worth mentioning without doubt, is Alama Saleh al suhaimis book as well. Fantastic. All of these are fantastic treatises that the Talib al-Ilm should get as far as dealing with this issue of quickly making taking people off the Sunnah. So we're talking about Mashaq al-Bayna Ahl Sunnah. We're not talking about Ahl Bid'ah. For example, don't twist this up when you look at what I said about Dr. Qadi because his usul is Yukhalif Ahl Sunnah. He's not even in the discussion. We can't talk about Hamza Yusuf and say, oh, you know, give him the benefit. No. His asl is we carry his speech based upon the usul that he has. So there's no benefit of the doubt. But Ahl Sunnah, if you see someone who's always talking about Tawheed, then they make a slip about an issue in Tawheed. Those ones, you give advice. You refute their mistake and you don't quickly try to destroy them. Prophet Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Ad-deen al-nusiha, ad-deen al-nusiha, ad-deen al-nusiha, qala liman, qala lillahi, wa li kitabihi, wa li a'immatihi, a'immatihi, the Prophet said, The religion is sincere advice. And he repeated it three times. Some of the Sahaba, they said, Liman. They said, Who? For who? Who, Ya Rasulullah? Who should we be giving this advice for? He said, For Allah his book or to Allah and his book and to his messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to the Imams of the Muslim the leaders of the Muslims and the general folk how do we give Nasiha to Allah when we use this term Nasiha it means calling the Tawheed it means Ikhlas Lillah and giving Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala his Haqq that's what it means, Lillahi. Wili kitabihi. That means believe in the Quran. Uh, reading, reciting, learning, understanding the Quran, and practicing and implementing the Quran. To the Messenger means following the Sunnah of the Prophet. To the Imams of the Muslims means all the Muslim leaders. As long as they're Muslim, advise them. It isn't first by, oh, they made a mistake. Oh, they got a dance club. They, a 50 cent just came. Khalas, takfir. That's just not how Islam works. 
but Ahla Takfir wa Ahla Tafjir and those people who love to destroy the Khawarij wa Ahlihim wa Ashabihim this is their menhaj that's what they like they like that and the Prophet ﷺ said Al Khawarij ki Lebanon the Khawarij are the dogs of the fire so we don't want that and then how do we give it to the general Muslims by advising one another with sincerity and one of the things the scholars agree upon when it comes to the definition of what nasiha means you know we just translate it in English we say advice now but what they mention in Arabic and the scholars have agreements on and hopefully in the future we'll do something in depth about this issue they mention and they all have some overlapping agreements that it means to have a qast, an intention for good for the one being advised. That's imperative. Because a lot of people say, I gave him advice. You cursed him. You made a cut and paste video about him. You said one statement with harshness and evil. <laughs> Maybe make a tikfir of him. I advised him. Khalas kafir, muqtadiya. That's, that's not... Again, it's not Islam because we're going back to the book and the Sunnah and the Madhab of the Salaf. So you can go on your minhaj to be to us be ours. And so it's very important to give the benefit of the doubt. And I'm going to give an example in the contemporary times of someone who's known for being, for a lot of the people who believe he's uh, uh, having tashdeed, you know, being uh, having shidda, being harsh and stern. And he's known for trying to adhere to the Sunnah. La shak, Sheikh Rabi' bin Hadi al Madkhali, Allah Taala. And that doesn't mean we agree with every statement he says and every refutation he says and everything is correct that he says. Because no one, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Kullu ibn Adam khata wa khayra khata'ina tawabun." All the children of Adam make mistakes and commit sins, and, every, and the best of those are those who repent. So we don't have ghulu with the sheikh or with anyone because there's those who have much more knowledge than him living and who died so how is it that we could have glue with him or uh, less than him so my point is is not uh, the example is he mentions in his uh, one of his refutation of uh, Abdurrahman Sheikh Abdurrahman Abdul Khalik in uh, Kuwait may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide him one of the Ru'us of the Hizbiyin, one of the leaders of Hizbiyya uh, in Kuwait and in this, uh, probably in the context of this time, you'd say. And he said that he advised him, I think he said something like for 11 or 12 years in his book. That's a long time. Why isn't that we can't give even a couple of months? Why is it that even more than one sitting is too much for us? We have to make a video and make an advertisement without any question. You know, we can't behind closed doors and give advice. Even Sheikh Rabi, when he was going, him and Fadah Al Harbi, another extreme Haddadi, as they say, and I, I don't have any doubt that that's his minhaj, no doubt, <coughs> that. You know, it started with private advice, but then some of the students got a hold of it, and then they published it, and that's when the fitna really came out. But it was good. It's good that it came out because it needed to. Other, look at all the brothers who never publicly made toba for what they did, who 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 were blind followers. The stuff that people used to say and the ignorance it spread around the world. I can recall people saying, "Oh, Abdul Masan al Abad, this and this and this," because he spoke about Fadi and Sheikh Obaid said. What kind of insanity is that? Sheikh Obeid, his manzil is over all those mashaykh. And we love Sheikh Obeid. But put everybody in their rightful place. So my point is, is don't be quick to destroy people.